Isn't it weird how Hurricane Hannah looks a lot like Comet Neowise? See that? That would be like the nucleus, and this would be like the ion tail. That's pretty wild. Ladies and gentlemen, while you've been sleeping, I have been watching Hurricane Hannah, A, become a hurricane, and then B, she looks like she is on her way to become a Category 2 hurricane at the very least. That would be my guess, and it's not only my guess. The Euro now predicts it to be about 973 millibars when it grinds through South Texas. We're talking Del Rio, Brownsville, Corpus Christi. Look at that, 973, which would make it a bona fide Category 2 hurricane. So I've been warning about this for over a week. Get ready to get hit with a hurricane. And here we are. I know when most people went to bed, they said, hey, it's just going to be a tropical storm. But that's why I'm here doing what I can do. And I've been here all night trying to give you guys the best information possible. So if you need to make a decision, if this thing continues to intensify, be like, do I want to stay? Do I want to go? Do I want to leave? That is always up to you. But hopefully you had a plan in place. But I want to point out this. Look, so there, here's the hurricane. And then look at this tail that wrapped. This is the monsoon that connects to this dragon head. Ooh, dragon head. Why does that sound good right now? Um, yeah, so, you know, this is going to be a wild scenario. And then um, this is the monster we are watching roll off of Africa that we will be concerned about it hitting land in about 10 days. So there's a lot happening here. The last time they measured the pressure of hurricane hannah it was at 988 which makes it a hurricane in my book and it's got a eye so and then it looked like a duck but there there's the big monster beast we are watching that is showing up on multiple models and has been for like a week so and then you got a hurricane pushing into hawaii so it's going to be a wild wild end of july in this big planet parade I'll be doing what I can to keep you guys best informed. And then there'll be like some ninjas out there who'll try and cyber me so I can't get my information to you. And there'll be peaks and valleys, ups and downs. And then, you know, like the plague is super real. It's like they recorded 800,000 cases in Africa. And then, you know, there are dipshits in America going, uh, Africa's faking it to hurt Trump's election chances. You know how dumb that is? It's like, dude. Man, I don't know. It's a crazy days, bro. Strange days indeed. And I would like to thank Mary for being so good to me. I like feeling appreciated, especially when I work my butt off trying to bring you guys good information. And anytime I can warn you guys about a coming hurricane a week in advance, I feel good. So I did that with this one, and I've been doing it with the Beast, which is now called 92L, which will be called Isaiah's. And if you take the I A out, it's ISIS. Anywho, so that that one you're watching there, boom, that is Hannah. But here comes Isaiah right there. And so models are even either showing him down here or right here. You know, there's still a chance that it can curve out to sea. But this is almost like weather warfare between corporations, China and America. So definitely get ready. And Elon Musk trying to pull a whole coup on Texas. <sighs> So I'm just going to do my best and do it very well. But yeah, look at this evil brain looking thing. And it's still got, I would guess, eight hours to landfall. And then it's going to like slowly move down the coast a bit. So this is going to cause some pretty serious flooding. Remember, if any time you feel like you, your wife, your family, your friends are in danger, um, you know, drive west, young man. It's better to be safe than sorry, in my opinion. But it's always up to you. It's kind of like it was your responsibility. Whatever video you click on on YouTube, it's your responsibility if you ever decide you and your family want to evacuate. And I'm just, it's my responsibility as Planetary Defense Commander to put all the best information out there. All right. You know, you might be like, hey, it's a great day to really drive west and have a picnic or something. Look at that. The upside down Pac Man head. There's a lot of head in this. <sighs> well, look at that convection burst right there. Bam! 
that is some serious damage right there. Damage damage. Yeah, this is going to be a flood machine. Definitely a flood machine. So hope everybody's ready. Hope everybody's staying cool, staying prepared. And keep your senses, man. Man, that looked like a... There's a lot of heavy rain. If you'll notice, for most of it, a large part of the Gulf Coast, including... Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana are going to be covered in heavy rain for a large portion of the next 48 hours. I mean, this is a giant system. It's not just a hurricane. There's a giant monster system. And then the monsoon, so like this is the hurricane moisture, and then this is monsoonal moisture. So we're kind of getting hit with a monsoon and a hurricane at once. And then Hawaii's got a hurricane bearing down on it. And then We've got Gonzalo, who's like a hidden little factor that everybody's forgot about, but we definitely got to watch that thing. And then comes Isaiah's the Big Beast, and that's all in the next 12 days. So this is 100 mile per hour right now, 110 mile per hour wind. Hurricane Douglas, it will weaken as it approaches Hawaii, but it'll still be a pretty major storm. Like, that would still be hitting it. That would be a hurricane. 989 pressure would keep it a hurricane so that would mean texas getting hit by a hurricane and then like i mean this is pretty soon this will be the hurricane i cover as soon as this has it making some type of landfall in 54 hours you know hurricane strength is 994 995 millibars so yeah i forget the name of these islands i will have to look it up but i promise why you're next on the so that would be in a period of like 60 hours, we're getting hit by, ooh, and it looks like a Loch Ness Monster head. That's a lot of head in this video. Heads. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at that. That is water vapor. And so this thing is a moisture-making machine. Look at that. Look at that incredible convective burst. I'll have to put that in the title of the video That because that's that is popping. This is water vapor. So this is stuff that's coming to play. Look at that. Bam. Oh, Nelly. Katie barred the door. But yeah, y'all get ready. This is going to be probably a Category 2 hurricane. And I would still say there's a chance it could be Category 3. Just because always be prepared for the upside. You know? And I love you. How I mentioned that. Oh, I love you. And it's, it helps. I like to think that there are a lot of cool people out there listening to me. And maybe even my next girlfriend out there in the future someday is listening today. And so in the future, you know, she'll give me an extra kiss because I did such a great job. Eh, whatever. <laughs> okay. But hey, you got to thank the entities behind having 24-hour live stream cameras always covering the protests in Portland and Hong Kong. I mean, if you got to distract the public in China or in the USA, what better way to do it? Um, does anyone love a woman's back more than I do? I would say no, but then there's probably a lesbian out there who'd be like, I do. And then, I don't know, technically she may be correct. I don't have to say it. Oh, Forgive me, that was, was my attempt at a joke. Did it work? Great. I, I, I love everybody. I love gays, straights, you know. People who got a divorce. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go chasing waterfalls. All right, the astrology says there might be sexiness around. This is PG you're looking at. There's no nipple. There's no nipple. This is PG stuff. I bring you the sexy, and then I hit you with the funny, buddy. It's like a style. It's a process. If you're broken, you don't have to stay broken. This brought to us by the gorgeous Selena Gomez, and she looks good with the color in her hair. She has crush on me, too. You know, that's on and off. She's cancer. What? A defense account got shut down while they're trying to put up information about wildfires in the Arctic and Siberia? That doesn't surprise me, man. But yeah, I'm going to be bringing you guys updates until the bad guys stop me or wake up and, you know, or until I fall asleep. What am I going to have for breakfast? Oh, you need to worry about You don't need to worry about that. I got that under control, Asterix. See, I do Gonzalo, Douglas, Hannah, and then Isaiah's Isis with an A. You know, red alert, bro. Asteroid Fight Club AFRN 2020. And I want you to watch this. Watch how it just kind of, it stops. And it, then it kind of really explodes and grows. And I waited for everybody to go to bed. And I just got major giant and now has formed itself. 
And now its final form is taken as it heads to the coast. But look how big it was over here, which is a good reason. That's its whole moisture field. And then at some point when it pulls it, it sucks it all in to form one giant head of moisture that, boom. And that doesn't even include that. Now keep this in mind there, boom. That is going to this boom. That is one of the most impressive moisture explosions I've ever seen in a hurricane. Remember, I've been doing this for a while. I've been bringing you guys nonstop coverage of hurricanes while they happen and before they happen for a while. And that is one of the biggest pre-landfall hurricane moisture explosions I've ever seen. So please be safe. And like I said, if you just you don't want to get out of the area until shit calms down, that might be a good idea. But we do have a plague and a pandemic going on, so be smart about everything. Play good defense and don't let... People working for Wall Street trying to trick you into being a dumbass and not play defense, unless that's what you want to do. God bless everyone. Talk to you all soon.